the Talon from McKinetech for those times when you just don't want to leave the house with the bulk of a full-blown appendix rig. I don't know about you, but sometimes I just want something a little bit more streamlined than my standard appendix rig. Right now I've got the Kineflex rig broke down into two pieces to save a little bit on weight and give me a little added concealability. Now if you didn't see the review on that holster, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link below for that. The Kineflex is great and it's not like it's horrible to conceal or like crazy heavy. When it comes to a sidecar style appendix rig, the Kineflex is definitely my go-to. There is no such thing as the perfect anything though. There is no perfect gun, there is no perfect holster. It's all about the situation at hand and the person using it. In most cases, the Kineflex is going to be the holster that I'm going to grab and the Smith & Wesson M&P, Floyd's custom m and is going to be the gun that I use when I leave the house. I really wanted a holster that was a little more compact uh, for the summertime and that's why I ordered this Talon from a Kinetech. So I actually ordered two of these things. One is for the Polymer 80. Uh, the other one is going to be for the Smith & Wesson M&P. Um, the one for the M&P is actually being used for a different project right now, but that'll come at a later date as far as a video. Today we're gonna look at the one that I'm using for the Polymer 80. With three Mechanitech holsters in the house, one might ask the question if there's some sort of sponsorship going on here. That, of course, is going to be a no. All the holsters that I have from McKinetech have been bought and paid for at full price by me. I'm okay with that. Having no official affiliation or financial ties with the company means that there's no question that any review that I do is going to be unbiased. If I didn't like the McKinetech products, if I didn't think that they were the best value on the market, I sure in the hell wouldn't keep ordering them for myself and paying full price. Okay, enough about that. Let's talk Talon. I went ahead and went with the same gray carbon fiber pattern for this as I did with my previous Mechanitech. And I know that may seem a little bit boring, but I just love the color and the texture of that pattern. So the Talon, it is a fairly slim and compact design. There's not a lot to it. Like all the other products from McKinetech, you aren't sacrificing quality to be able to get a holster of this price. I love that it has this wide belt clip that comes standard and it is not an upgrade. It's not like a premium hardware where they charge you an extra 12 bucks for. I mean, why do so many of these companies do that? Why do they charge you extra for better hardware? Why don't they just put good hardware on it and to begin with, just like McKinetech? Whatever. Uh, no appendix holster would be complete without a concealment claw. I do find that this one does pretty good. I wish it was a little bit taller though. I do have some hardware in a box over here somewhere uh, with some spacers. I can go ahead and raise this up a little bit to get it closer to belt level where I like it. Um, it's not really a deal breaker for me, no big deal. So of course you can adjust the retention with these two screws right here. Uh, works just as one would expect. When the holster came in, I went ahead and wore it for a few days doing practice dry fire here in the office. When I finally decided where I wanted the retention to be, I went ahead and pulled those screws out, put some Loctite on them, put them back in, got that retention back to exactly where I wanted it, let the Loctite cure, and I haven't had any issues with the screws backing out at all since then. That's just an extra step that I like to take to make sure that my uh, retention screws aren't backing out. I do it with all my holsters and I've never had any issues. Next thing on the list is the optic cut. Now, any holster that I order, regardless of whether or not I have an optic on the pistol, I always go ahead and opt in for the optic cut. As you can see, I haven't had the slide for the Polymer 80 cut yet. Um, I'm gonna have that done soon. It's just I have so many projects going on right now, it's hard to keep everything straight. Once that happens, I will be installing an optic, and because I ordered the holster, cut for the optic, no problem, it's already ready for that. My suggestion is that you always have your holsters cut for an optic, just in case you decide to add one later on. It's not gonna interfere with the way that it's being used if you don't have an optic, but at least if it's cut for it and you add an optic later, you're already set. 
Luckily, McKenna Tech doesn't charge extra for the optic cut. You just go ahead and make that selection and they cut it for you. So just a quick side-by-side -side of the Talon and the Kineflex. Uh, the Kineflex, of course, I ordered it with the mid-length sweat guard. The Talon, I ordered it with the high sweat guard. So if we look at these side-by-side, -side, roughly, there's quite a difference in sweat guard height. Personally, I'm a much bigger fan of the higher sweat guard myself. I like having that extra bit of material with my holster. Um, you know, number one, it stops any skin from getting down in there and getting pinched when I go ahead and reholster my weapon. The other thing is having the higher sweat guard gives you a little bit of a guide, so to speak, when reholstering. Of course, practice makes perfect, but having that little bit of plastic there makes it a lot easier when you're reholstering to get it back in. All in all, I think ordering the higher sweat guard is the way to go. If you order it with the high sweat guard and you don't like it, it's not really a huge deal uh, to bust out a Dremel or whatever and cut it down a little bit lower to how you like it and sand the edges off. On the other hand, if you order a mid-length, the length is what the length is. There's no adding material to it. At that point, you're just stuck with the mid-length and you've got to live with it. Mid-length sweat guards aren't horrible, but at least with the higher ones, if you don't like it, you can always cut it down, cut to fit. So McKinetech, they use really high quality materials with their holsters. This belt clip, it's super thick and sturdy. I absolutely confident that I'm not going to break this thing. Every edge is very smooth and rounded in a way that I am getting the absolute most comfort possible. Which means a lot when you have a giant piece of plastic and a firearm shoved down your pants. Now I've said this before and I will say it again a million times. You are getting a lot more for your money at McKenna Tech that you're going to get with any other holster company that's out there. There is one price for each holster. That's it. Pick whatever Kydex you want at no additional charge. No charge for the optic cut. Hell, if you want it to be a light bearing holster, there's no charge for that. Not only is there no charge, but there is a massive list of lights that McKenna Tech can go ahead and make your holster for. High quality hardware, no extra charge for that. It just comes standard. This is exactly the type of company that I want to see every one of you do business with. Not because I have a financial interest, but because when I see a company that's doing so much for its customers, I want to see that company succeed. When a company like that does well, we all do well. All right, so let's do a couple of practice draws and see how this holster sits. Right now I've got the McKenna Tech Talon. Inside of that I've got the Polymer 80. I'm also wearing the Blue Alpha Gear Hybrid EDC belt. Uh, generally that's my go-to. So right now with this combination, you can't really see that I have it on me. And generally most people aren't necessarily looking for a gun at people's waistline. I found that most people get pretty uncomfortable staring at somebody's crotch. So, you know, for the most part, nobody's looking. I feel like the Talon conceals really well. Um, I feel pretty confident leaving the house with it uh, on these hotter days, you know, wearing just nothing but shorts and a t-shirt. Um, I haven't had anybody like give me the eye, like they, they can tell that I'm carrying a gun. For me, the draw feels good. Okay, so McKenna Tech, Talon, Kineflex rig. If you don't have one, hit that link below and go check them out. These holsters are packed full of value. They're high quality. They have every option you could possibly want and best of all, you're supporting a small business. That's it today, you guys. I'm gonna wrap this up. I wanna get outside and enjoy some of the sunshine while we have it. It's kind of a rarity uh, out on the west side of Washington. Usually it's pissing down rain and today it looks like it might be about 80 degrees. Be safe out there and I'll see you back here real soon.